Hello again and welcome to ESR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Um, today we're going to do a tutorial on creating a polysynth, uh, like the big sort of 80s uh, Junos. Uh, we're going to do this in Cubase 7.5 and we will use Spectrosonic's Omnisphere. So, quite simple, uh, we'll start with F11 and create a track instrument, select Omnisphere. There you go. Hope you can hear that bass it's all with. Uh, go into the edit menu. What we're going to do is link both layer A and B. Uh, we've got a, a saw square fat wave on, on A. Um, click onto B and we'll add another saw wave. So, waveforms. I'm going to use the trans. Saw so three. There you go, you can hear that's thickened up a little bit already. What we can do is maybe fine tune just by a few cents. Just made it a little bit wider. And if we click on multi and we'll add a bit of unison again to thicken it up. Just put as much on as sounds nice to you. That sounds great. We'll leave that at that. On the amp envelope, um, this is where we'll now configure it to sound how we want. There's your little pluck. We'll go for a bit more, a little bit of sustain. A bit of release. Ideal for creating a pad. Already sounding pretty good. Obviously we could assign a filter to this. Uh, let's put a low pass. Uh, let's show we have Moog. Let's have a Moog sort of filter. Bit of resonance. Again, just in the envelope, to where it sounds nice. Lovely, so that's the uh, basic sort of polysaw sound. Um, what we shall do now is put some effects on. So, let's have a quick look. Omnisphere has already got the easy verb and uh, a delay already on the auxiliaries. So if we're going back to the mixer, what we can do? There's your reverb. Add a little bit of that. That's the delay. So let's go to the delay. Let's maybe put that onto quarter notes. Lovely. Add as much or as little as you like to suit. And there you go. That's just a, a quick, quick tutorial on creating a polysynth, a um, bit like a Juno within Spectrosonic's Omnisphere. Obviously I've been really really quick there, you can carry on going, modulating, maybe put a bit of pan or modulate the filter with an LFO. Basically we've just kept it nice and simple. Created that nice big 80s pad sound. Um, and that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you've got any questions on anything then please drop me a line, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, in the meantime, till next time, bye bye.